Happy 4th of July, Fujitsu. Today, we're going to be installing Linux Mint for the Wi-Fi on this Acer laptop. And as you see, compared to the other one, it does not like the flex. So first things first, got a mask up. A little bit of fast bike, never heard it to a point. Here's the plug I had twist tied. Now we're gonna plug this in. Oh, that's not gonna work. All right, so this has HDMI, USB 2 and 3, Ethernet on the back, USB 2, memory card, headphone jack, DVD drive. Which surprisingly, there's no button to open. Hmm. It's charging. And we're going to give this thing a quick wipe with the alky walky. This model has blue light shield, Celeron processor, 3350, Intel graphics, 4 gigabyte memory, 500 giga hard drive. Well, I swapped that out for a flash drive. Going to have to plug it in USB 3 in the back. Oh, are you kidding me? I couldn't hold that screw down. Nope, it's got RAM. It's got the drive, it's got the RAM. Well, this isn't a great start to the night. Well, at least I don't have to take apart the whole drive. Oh, security violation. Okay, let's see. Failed to load image, missing or boot failed. Boot manager, hmm. I wonder. Oh, there we go. Just realized it's not showing the activity light. We'll try this with the power off. Get some of my Tupperware here. See if this works. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Oh, good. I don't have to fight the BIOS. Okay, now the activity light's flashing. See how long that works. And oh, there it goes. And it stopped. Oh, there it goes. And it stopped. And I can hear the fans going. The only other option would be to throw it in compatibility mode. Didn't have to do that last time. Don't think it took this long last time. Well, it hasn't blinked for a while. I can still hear the fans going up and down. Like it's showing that it's on and it's charging, but I don't have an indicator for a hard drive. Nothing. This is the most basic Acer ish laptop. Might have to try it in compatibility mode and see. Okay, that's fine.
we're doing that thing again where it just locks up. Oh, that might have been it. Okay, let's see. Secure boot. How do I disable secure boot? Okay, let's try this. And, okay. So maybe 2 gigs of RAM is not enough. All right, we're going to put this away. Got a magnet somewhere else. And then we're going to bring out the laptop and see how much RAM is in this one. This one I did from the HD video recording with the HDMI to AVI adapter. So let's see how much is in here. This is the only one I haven't opened up yet. Oh, look at that. It's got two four gigabyte sticks. Okay, we got something here. I think I can sacrifice you for the other computer. Okay. And we'll set this aside. Now let's bring up our prop and our table. And we're going to... Don't know where I'm gonna find that screw. Ooh. Okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. Rip jaws. Okay, hopefully this was just the only problem because it didn't have enough RAM. Now we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna open it up. Now we're going to try to start installing Linux Mint. Where is that button? Acer. Okay. Let's see if this works. Oop, there it is. Blinky, blink, blink, blink. Oh, I just noticed that the logo spins in the background. Don't know if I'll notice that if I play back the video and edit it. Eventually, I have to order 8 gigabyte sticks for a lot of these laptops to get them all prepared for their eventual futures being deployed. And looks like the logo is stopped spinning. I hear the fans going up. Fans are off. Fans are up again. Logo has stopped spinning. USB key's not blinking. Let's try Windows and see what that comes up. Oh, there's that fancy Ventoy flickering. That might be it. Hmm. Sometimes Windows is helpful. Bloody secure boot. What I would have to do to get rid of secure boot. Disable. That simple. Just go to the BIOS and create a password. All right. Well, I guess that's what it's going to ask me to do. Oh. Yeah. Erase all secure boot system settings. Secure boot. Disabled. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, so that still comes up. Alright, let's see. Well, it might not have been the RAM. Could have just been secure boot the whole time. And setting a password to disable it? Not smart, Acer. Not smart. Now we just watch the spinny ball. And the light's flashing again. There's something stopped somewhere. Okay. 
ball stop spinning memory card stop flashing something's giving this machine a stroke well, I only have one other option see if it does that thing in windows again well, look at that it's booting windows doesn't mean it'll be a successful install. English, English, install. Well, we got past the secure boot problem. So I've tried normal mode. I've tried grub mode. Let's try... OEM, I'm going to let that do its thing. Integrity Voting 509 certificate. Looks like it froze up. New activity light. All right, let's try to see what we can Google here. Take away my flat toe. Ah, uh, the old 15.4 inch. Oh, no, this would be 15.6 because of the numpad. Don't know what those beeps mean. Hey, okay, let's try this. Linux, Mint, Error, uh, Acer, ES, 1533. Okay, let's see. Well, not this one. Anything, the screen will hang before it even reaches the live desktop. So this isn't a me thing, this is a known issue, using a different stick, different writing program, different OS, replacing the hard drive. Okay, maybe we can try uh, X509 error 65. There we go. Oh, that same code again. Nope. Nothing there. Funny, it's a Lenovo notepad. And it still has the same issue. Acer, Aspire. Hey, there we go. Pre-install was Windows 10. Installing Grub, even the mouse pointer. Uh, problem loading UEFI. So maybe Canada. Uh, BIOS. This doesn't tell me anything other than the date. Uh, BIOS version 108. So well, that's this one. A TXE. Okay, we're trying this one more time. And, oh, that's it. It locked up. Okay, so there you have it. We have a failed Linux Mint installation. So, I'm going to have to find another laptop and try to see what I can do about that. Until the next video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And tune in for more videos coming soon.